Unfortunately, due to some software issues, all of the audio from both mine and CND Blood's microphone was lost. However, a lot of you still wanted to see how the rest of the series played out. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, it really helps me out, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Now at this point we had a few guns and we were starting to build up a little bit of farm, however what we really needed was a tier 2, so we decided to do a quick puzzle run to satellite dish and then straight on to water treatment with the blue card. While heading to water treatment, CND Blood got cut off by a duo, so I quickly ran back to try and get the jump on them. After the frustrating loss of the key cards, we quickly got geared again and headed back out. Not only did we secure our loot back, but we caught them on a bandit camp run to sell their keycards. And just like that, we turned two crossbows into a python and a thompson kit. We now had the ammo to roam with guns.
Now this was our first star on the server, so while CND continued to do the power plant puzzle, I took it straight back to base to be researched. We've been hearing a huge amount of AK shots from the large clan base down by the road, and while checking it out, I saw a fully clothed body on the ground. With guns to fall back on and plenty of farm, the only thing we needed now were meds, so we decided to finally sell those key cards at Bandit Camp and get enough scrap for a tier 2. We also decided to do a quick gamble at the wheel, and unsurprisingly, we lost. By the time I got back to my body, it had strangely been left unlooted. Presumably, the last guy was full inventory and hadn't even checked my body. While looting the roof camper, CND spotted three guys approaching in the distance, so we decided to set an ambush. Damn, bro, you're fucking insane. Holy shit. And right there is where my internet died. The worst timing possible. Unfortunately, by the time I'd restarted my router, 
The group who we'd stolen the kit from came back and jumped CND. But there was now a Chinook crate at Ward's treatment, so we decided to head back. Get the loot. I'll help you get the loot if you pick me up. I'll help you. The same LR and the same blackout kit. This was one of the many living in the large clan base down on the road. We'd noticed that the large clan had two gates at the entrance of their compound. This means it's really easy to door camp with double barrels, so we thought we'd give it a go. Fuck you, bitch. Even though we'd only seen two leaving the base, there were now three on their way back. The unwritten rule in Rust, there's always one more than you think. While recycling at Satellite Dish, I spotted a naked leading one of the clan members directly towards our base. I told CND to be completely silent inside. While silent inside the base, he had a kid, no older than 10, tell the clan member that this, this was our base, this was their next target. And now, because of that snitch, we knew that we had no choice but to move base. We changed our names and returned as two new figures, Pepsi and Cola, hopefully with no more price on our heads.
It was getting late, and right as we were about to head off, the horn to cargo sounded. We knew that this was the last thing we should do before we headed off for the night. Oh, 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 oh,